People ask where I grew up, I so I grew up in the Australian Army. I uh, joined as an apprentice in 1987, 15 years old. Signed up for nine years. From there I was uh, posted to Adelaide um, back in 1994. It was great, I enjoyed it. I had an idea to start a business providing dial-up internet services to, you know, to, to people and just things exploded from there. I joined a computer user group for a very strange operating system called Linux and you know it was very very early now it probably been out six or seven months maybe maybe a year i went to one meeting where that someone actually had built a windowing system on it and i saw someone using a web browser no it's a light bulb moment to me it was so obvious that, that the world was going to change i was pretty sure banking was going to change i was pretty sure that you could you know you'd, you'd be able to buy software and, and even books online and really easy to ship things you, you don't pick a tech winner the things i think are going to be great aren't as great as they're going to be for example so one thing I've learned is that if you're going to invest in something, you find really honest, young, smart people, and you invest in them. We need IT skills, we need more software skills. We really need that, we need to push it so hard, it is so important, it's the critical thing for the next 100 years. Young people need to come out of the school sector with a far greater appreciation of skills in the IT space. In the industrial revolution, I suppose steam power and, and, and mechanical power replaced human power. Now, right now, software power is actually replacing the, the, the thinking power and the doing power of people at the same time. If we're going to advance our economy past the things we do well, we need those software, we need those IT skills. We actually have a liberal society with, with entrepreneurs and, and business people actually leading the way and actually creating value. And so I need more people doing that. So we need to give the maximum possible chance for opportunity. So my advice to young people around effective communication skills, you've got to understand what they want. Effective communication is knowing the person you're talking to and how they're motivated. Understand people's motivations for the advice they give you and ask about that person's background and understand that because they'll, they'll give you some advice. You have to understand how to apply advice you're getting. Ask the right person the right question, understand their journey, and then you actually understand the nuggets you can take out of them. One of the things I, I like about the Army was that there was a, very much a, an attitude that you got to talk through a problem, you got, to, you got to actually contribute, but once the boss said this is how you're doing it, the debate was over and you just got on and you did it. It was quite a collaborative approach, but at the same time someone's got to lead. If you get leadership right, you can, you can get amazing results. So be honest, be open, listen, set a high standard, maintain a high standard. My wish for young Queenslanders is that they have all the opportunity in the world to do whatever they want. That is not gifting them anything. That's, that's giving them the chance to try.